This is the Just Steph Show, and I'm your host, Steph Palermo, your Italian Boston girl who's an empath, healer, and all-around seeker of wisdom. Tune in weekly for advice on how to live your best life at work, home, or play so you can feel groovy every day. All right, so I am so thrilled uh, to talk to you today. I had a situation come up this week, and I thought I should um, identify what I see in all this. I had a friend I was recommending, I've been reading Jen Sincero's books on uh, on being a badass, whether you're a badass at life or badass at making money. And so I have been reading her books and I've been suggesting them because I love them. I'm actually listening. Um, I'm listening to her books and I'm actually listening to You're a Badass at Making Money a second time. I made my mom listen to it on the way up to um, Boston from Atlanta when we were driving. It's just um, an amazing uh, book. She's, she's an amazing author. So I was mentioning to one of my friends, like, oh, you should read this book. And she goes, ah. Oh. And she knows I'm talking about this, so don't worry about it. Um, she goes, oh, I'm not a badass. You are. She goes, I'm not like that. And I thought, what is the connotation of a badass? Like, what, what is that? Is it good or bad or, you know, what is it? So I thought I would address it because I think people have this very negative idea of what a badass really is. It sort of is like some tattooed biker chick that you know knocks over banks or something or somebody who's rude and isn't nice and who will barrel anybody down to get to where they're going uh, doesn't matter no feelings uh, that's kind of the idea that I think is out there so I thought I would tell you what my idea of a badass is and hope that you would change your mind and recognize your badassery because everybody is a badass whether you want to believe it or not. So here's my definition of a badass. A badass is somebody who understands what they want, they know what they want, they know they're going to get it, they may not know how, and they work as hard as they can to get to that place, letting nothing stop them. And of course, this doesn't mean that they trample over people, it means this comes from a actually comes from a place of love. It's love for yourself and love for others because when you are living who you are, you're actually a gift to everybody else. So, are you a badass? I wonder. Uh, I think everybody is a badass because the truth is, is we are spiritual beings running around in flesh and blood and just by that, universal intelligence flowing through us, you are a badass. Uh, you are that. Now, does, do people live, live it out? Do they recognize that? Unfortunately, I think there are a lot of people that go to their grave not really knowing how amazing they are, and that's really sad to me. So being a badass is really about understanding how amazing you are and how you, only you fit that piece of the universal puzzle. Nobody can replace you. And that you're connected and you have an unlimited source of energy and information at your disposal just by being connected to the universe and being connected to your source energy. Whatever you want to call it, you want to call it God, your source, your energy, your higher power, love, whatever it is, you have that connection. And you are here by your own choice, by your own free will, to live out your amazingness. And when you don't do that, then you're not being a badass, okay? And then you have no spine and you're a wimp. So 
I'm sorry, that sounds really mean. There's a little bit of tough love in there, but really you're so amazing. You have something inside of you to give. You have something, your desires to do what you do in your life, that's your badass. That's what you are. That's what, that's what you took with you from that spiritual side into this physical being. And you're meant to live that out. And just by that, you're a badass. So don't anybody tell me you're not a badass. You're only not a badass when you don't live out your amazingness. So you need to really, really think about it and think about how you can align with your true purpose. Figure out what you really love to do. What makes you feel good? What makes you tick? And live that every day. So here's some ways that I... Here's the thing. The funny thing is about me is... I've been told I'm, I'm a badass. People have said it to me for years. And I think it's because they see that, you know, I was born with Poland syndrome, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I've overcome a lot of that with, you know, living with the, with the limb difference and trying to get comfortable in my own skin and, and do the things that I do. And so, and maybe that's true, but I'm going to tell you what is more badass about me than just living with a physical limitation. It was the desire inside of me to be okay with me. From a very young age, I knew I was unbalanced. I wasn't loving myself. I didn't feel good about me. I was not... I was happy because I'm a happy person, but I was never really deep down okay in my own skin. Always worried what somebody was going to say. Always worried and scared that somebody was going to leave me and abandon me. But I had the desire inside of me. I had the dream. I believed in the, in the fairy tale, and I believe in mag magic. And the magic is that I can go from what I was inside to what I am inside today. That's the magic. But what it is, my badassery comes from that desire to be okay in my own skin, to be free from worrying about what everybody else is thinking, to be liberated from the shackles of fear, fear of abandonment, rejection, humiliation, um, free from other people's opinions and what they think I should and shouldn't be doing, free to love the way I want to love, free to be who I want to be. That's where my badassery comes from. Am I where, I'm, where I want to be in terms of career, by God, not my body weight or any of that? No. But inside, I am a badass because I'm going to continue that journey to grow and learn and to do the things that I love and to be aligned every day with my purpose to walk in my zone every day and do what I love every day. So the way I see it is everybody is a badass. You just have to tap into your badassery and know that you are plugged in like the toaster in the wall to unlimited potential. You just have to believe. You just have to want to do it. You just have to know and figure out how great you are. I know. I already know. And guess what? You're not a badass if you don't live out your gifts because I'm waiting. Because you, you have a contribution to the world and to the universe. 
that you are not you're not participating in and without you it's a sad day it really is so um, that's what I have to say about being a badass um, I hope you liked it if you want um, if there's a topic you'd like me to to address, please email me, steph at juststeph.com. Of course, you can always find me on social media and on Facebook, you can message me. And uh, you know, you can also uh, subscribe to my newsletter. I'm on MailChimp, but it's uh, steph at juststeph.com. No, that's my email. It's www.juststeph.com is my uh, website. And you can sign up for my newsletter there as well, or just email me and I'll send you a link to sign up and you will learn how to be a badass every day and every week with my newsletter. And of course, I'm always here uh, to reach out. So please know that I love you all. And uh, that's all I get. So wishing you love, balance, and peace. Ciao, ciao, baby. Love you. Thanks for tuning in to The Just Steph Show. I really care about you, your happiness, and helping you make great choices for your life. So tune in next week for more wisdom from me. In the meantime, follow me on my Just Steph Facebook page, on Twitter at Steph Palermo, my Instagram account is Just Steph One, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Steph Palermo. See you next week. Ciao, ciao, baby.